How to sell NFT on Trust Wallet. Hello everyone, I'm Jason and in this tutorial I'll be walking you through how to create an account on Trust Wallet and also how to start selling NFT on Trust Wallet and OpenSea. So the first thing you want to do is go on to TrustWallet.com. Once on TrustWallet.com, as you can see right here, all you will need to do depending on the device that you are using if you are using a Chrome device, you can tap on Chrome Web Store. If you are using an Apple device, you will tap on the Apple App Store. Once you have done that, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, all you will need to do is tap right where you see Remove from Chrome on my screen. You would see the option to add the Trust Wallet extension. Once you have added the Trust Wallet extension, you will see it in the top right hand corner. As you can see right here, if I were to tap on the Trust Wallet icon, you can see my Trust Wallet account right here. And also when I create my first NFT and post it, you will see it by tapping on NFTs right here. So all you will need to do. So once you have added the Trust Wallet extension, the next thing I want you to do is go on to OpenSea.io. And OpenSea.io is an NFT platform that persons go on to sell and to also buy NFTs. And this is the platform that we are going to be using to create our NFT and also to sell our NFT. So the first thing you will need to do is go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to see the option to connect account. At the moment you can see that my Trust Wallet account has been connected as you can see right here. But all you'll need to do is tap on connect account. Then from there you will tap on wallet connect and your trust wallet account will automatically be connected as you can see right here. Once it has been connected, all you will need to do now is right where you see your profile pic or the purple circle on the top right hand corner. You are going to hover over that. Then you are going to tap on create. Once you have tapped on create, you are going to be redirected to this page. And for this example, I'll be creating an NFT or a digital media using Canva. And by the way, an NFT can be whether you want it to be audio, a small video clip, or you want it to be an image. It can be any form of digital media. So for me, all I'll need to do is go onto canva.com. Then I'm going to tap on custom size and the requirement for NFT pixels on OpenSea is 1000 by 1000. So all you'll need to do is type in 1000 by 1000 on Canva, creating the digital media that you'd like to use as an NFT. So first you'll go over to elements. Then from there you can type in whatever you would like to add. So let's say for example, I would like to add a lion. All I would have to do is type in lion, then I'll search for it. And all I would have to do now, you could use one of the photos. So you could select one of the photos, but I prefer to use the graphics. So right where you see graphics, I'm going to tap on see all. Then I'm going to be using this one right here. So all I'll simply do is drag and place it as you can see right here on the canvas. After I've placed it on the canvas to my liking or better yet to your liking, all you will need to do now, if you want to add text, you could tap on the text box right there. Then you could type in the text that you'd like to add. And also if you would like to change the background, all you have to do is tap to select the background. Then you'll see the color box in the top left hand corner. You could tap right there. Then from there, you can select the color that you would like to use as the background. As you can see right there, I've changed the background color. Once you're finished, all you'll need to do now is go up to the top right hand corner and you could tap on share. But before doing that, I would like to add some animation or better yet, I'd like to make the video or the photo better yet animated. So all I'll do is tap on the photo, then tap on animated. Then from here, I'm going to select, let me see, I'm going to select this one right here, wipe. Then I'm going to tap on share. After tapping on share, you're going to tap on download. Then you'll tap on download again. 
once it has been downloaded all you'll need to do now is go back into OpenSea once on OpenSea remember we are on the listing page all you'll need to do now is simply tap and drag your new design so once your design has been downloaded as you can see right there you'll simply drag and place it right here so you can see how it looks then you'll scroll down and you'll need a preview image or a thumbnail so to get the preview image all I would need to do is go back onto Canva tap on share then I'll scroll down tap on download right where you see mp4 video you're going to tap right there and you're going to select PNG then you're going to select download once the image has been downloaded, you are going to go back into OpenSea and you are going to add it right where you see preview image. Then from there, you can add the name that you want. So for example, I'll name this Lion King. Then if you want to add an external link, for example, if you have a website, you could add it right there. You can also type in the description if you want. Then you'll scroll down. And from here, if you don't, if this is your first time creating an NFT, you obviously won't have a collection. But once you have uploaded a NFT onto OpenSea, it will automatically create a collection for you. Then below that, you will see properties, textual traits that show up as rectangle. So for example, these are tags. So you can simply type in right here. I'll type in lion then you can type in mail then after you're finished you could add more if you want to describe what your nft has or what it is about once you have done that you'll scroll down and depending on the type of nft that you have created probably you'll need to use the levels or stats but if you're uploading an image you don't have to use that an image or a video these wouldn't make any sense and also, if you are uploading expletive or sensitive content, you'll toggle this on right there. Once you are finished, you can change the amount of supply that you want to provide. But I'll stick with one. Then you are going to scroll down and you are going to tap on create. After you have tapped on create, you are going to tap on I'm not a robot. Then you are going to simply fill out the catchy real quick right here. So let me do that real quick. Once you have done that, you're going to tap on verify. And once it has been verified, let's give it a few seconds. You can see that someone has already taken this name. So let me give it another name. You can see right here, you created the sunshine. And you can see how our listing right here, how it looks. So all we'll need to do now is go up to the top right hand corner. And you are going to tap on list for sale. Once you have tapped on list for sale, you can set the amount that you would like to sell it for. So let's say for example, I want to sell this for $103. Then I'll scroll down. And by the way, if you would like it to be an auction, you could scroll up and you could tap on time auction right there. If you would like it to be an auction instead of a fixed price. Then all you'll need to do is scroll down and again if you want it to be an auction, you would have to edit the duration right here. And if you plan on uploading more than one NFT, you could tap on more options and you could tap on set as a bundle. Once you are finished, all you will need to do now is tap on complete listing. And by the way, you can see the service fee that OpenSea charges is 2.5%. So all we'll need to do now is tap on complete listing. Once you have tapped on complete listing, it will redirect you to your wallet. And from there, all you have to do is tap on confirm, as you can see right here. So I'll tap on switch. Then you'll simply tap on confirm and that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.